Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I hope everybody slept well in the arms of Jesus, as you should. Um, I haven't made a video. I've been in really deep prayer and study with the Lord, and it's been so wonderful, and um, he's taught me a lot. And we left off with the vote, what do we do when God seems silent? So let's begin. Psalm 13, out of the depths of his heart, David repeats four times the haunting cry, how long? There is no indication in these verses that David had sinned, but his enemy was about to get him. In spite of David's repeated prayers, God seems unavailable. Have you been there? I know I have. <laughs> Psalm 13 tells us what to do when God seems distant. Distant, The psalm falls into three stanzas of two verses. Each one, the problem, the petition, the praise. The stanzas seem to decrease in the magnitude or turmoil. First, David cries out in anguish. Then he offers a more quiet petition. Finally, he rests in the joy of knowing that God will answer him. This song, as it is, were cast up constantly, lessening waves until it becomes still, as the sea went smooth as a mirror and the only motion discernible lasts is that of joyous ripple, of calm repose. Amen. Excuse me. When God seems distant, we must call to him and trust his unfailing love. When we feel God has turned his back, we must deliberately trust the fact that he loves us with unfailing love and he will never forsake us, even though it may seem that way for a while. But God does seemingly forget some of his choicest servants, as we have seen Joseph, Paul, David, all of them were shut up in an unpleasant circumstances for years during which it seemed, and the Lord God had me underline, seemed, that God had forgotten. Do you know what was really happening during that time? God was building maturity into those men as they learned to trust him. Just as it takes years to grow a sturdy oak tree, so it takes years to build the godly character qualities needed to be an effective servant of the Lord. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, this is truly very important. The Lord um, has been speaking to me, and many didn't like my video of past, but it's okay because um, the Lord told me that, you, you know, his gospel, as Jesus wasn't popular, and I'm not saying I'm Jesus, I'm just doing an analogy here, uh, even Paul, all of them were not popular. Um, and many servants were beheaded and tortured and thrown in prison because of the true gospel that they were stating. And believe it or not, brothers and sisters, I would never risk my salvation to come on here and speak of the Lord and uh, God and his son, Jesus Christ, and tell you he speaks to me and make it a falsehood. What am I gaining? Really? Um, people out there that think that uh, people make so much money on YouTube is not the case. And if people see my PayPal and they think I'm rolling in the dough, I am still six months behind on my rent. I have bills mounting. I sometimes don't eat. And I'm not 
looking for pity. This isn't a pity party. It's all righteousness. And hallelujah, I'm happier than ever because I've given it all to the Lord. I'm nothing without him. And I know that he has not disappeared. I know that he has not left me. I know that he is teaching me. So, brothers and sisters, again, this once saved, always saved is true when you learn the gospel, when you learn to be a, ser a true servant of God the Father and his son Jesus Christ. He will not be mocked. I don't care if I'm popular. I do not have an ego. This channel is not about Lisa Crapella. It's about being God's servant and teaching the word through Jesus Christ and God the Father verbatim of what it states in the Bible, okay? And I, he takes me and he picks apart and he teaches me and tells me, read this, read that. This is what this means. This is what this means. Use this analogy. Say this. I am in constant prayer constantly before I come on here. I've been with him for the whole weekend in constant, constant prayer and conversation because... He had to tell me, my daughter, this is not about you. It's not about your ego. It's not about being popular. I am building that channel. I am bringing your brothers and sisters to you. I am the one that is touching the ones that have ears to hear and don't want their ears tickled. So, brothers and sisters, that's the message. And um, the his servants... He, that know him have left beautiful comments below. I have received so many overwhelming emails from people and no, your votes are not uh, public. They, it does it, it's, it's anonymous. When you click the vote, you are not, you know, it doesn't show that it's you uh, because I've been getting so many emails of people saying, can you talk about this. Could you read about this? Um, your message is so true. And I have gotten so many messages from channels that sadly are afraid to come out and say that they do not believe in once saved, always saved the way that these other false teachers are teaching it. They believe in the way that God the Father is teaching it and relaying it through me as a vessel, a nobody, nothing peon if I didn't listen to God the Father and his son Jesus Christ. And um, brothers and sisters, we are in the end times, but nobody knows the day nor the hour. It could be five years from now. It could be 10 years from now. God's time is completely different than our time. What are you going to do if it isn't in seconds like these false teachers are teaching you? We fly soon, we fly soon, we fly soon. Huh? What are you going to do? When you hit circumstances like Paul did, like David did, like Joseph did, are you going to fall away? Okay, because they say they stayed obedient in all circumstances. So these false teachers that are saying, once saved, always saved, we fly soon, we fly soon. And people are out there and, you know, if you're, when the father comes back, if you're in sin, <laughs> fornicating, in uh, a homosexual relationship, um, lying, cheating, stealing, getting drunk, being a glutton, just being in sin, when the father comes back, you will be left behind. He keeps telling me and showing me that there'll be many like this. <gasps> yes, sadly, it's true. And I am not lying and I would never lie. He tells me everything. He talks to me. Um, we stay up all hours of the night. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. And he is teaching me and I am being obedient in him by coming on here. I take a lot of backlash and I'm not boasting. I'm just speaking the truth, but I'm not here to be popular. I'm here to praise the father God and his son, Jesus Christ, and do what he wants. And he will not be mocked. Brothers and sisters, yes, once saved, always saved. But those false teachers are not teaching what is really saved. When you are truly saved, you are transformed. You are transformed. And you, when you get the arrows and the temptations to sin, you know what the Father wants. 
So don't be one of those fools. And the Lord calls people fools in the Bible. And Paul does many times. Don't be one of them. Once saved, always saved. We fly soon. We fly soon. Oh, my goodness. Brothers and sisters, please don't follow those false teachers that just want to be popular. Maybe they're even unaware of it. But this is no joke. Do you realize Satan knows his time is at hand and he's going to be more at his at God's children than, than ever before? These people that are just saying they've had dreams, they've had visions. God has told me that many on have channels that are growing, but their ego is growing too. We must all stay humble and give God the Father and his son Jesus Christ all the praise. We are nobody's nothing. We are not small YouTube celebrities that can sit there cocky and boast like they're somebody's because people are subscribing and saying, can you tell me this? Could you teach me this? We're nothing without God the Father and his son Jesus Christ. We are simply dumb vessels that he, if we are obedient, gives us wisdom, knowledge, and truth. So don't be stroked and have your ear, ears tickled. I love you all. I love you all. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. My PayPal is below. Please support my channel with a financial gift if you feel led because I am in difficult times, but the father said it's okay. My daughter, you may ask because my children, the ones that hear the calling, will feel led. So search brothers and sisters, at what saved really means. Search what the Holy Spirit really desires. And are you really out there saying that once saved, always saved, that means you could go around and do whatever sin you want. And when the father comes back, he's just going to pull you out of the world and take you up with him. Or are you saying that once you're saved, you have to transform and walk the line? Because, brothers and sisters, again, wide the gate to hell and narrow the gate to heaven. And he states, many will say, but I cast out demons for you. I spoke for you. I did this for you. And he will say, I do not know you. Because there comes a time when he does put you in a state of disillusion and turn away. He has to. He has to move on. But when you want, if you're living and breathing and you want to come back to him and, and really be saved, then you will be transformed, born again. And then, and only then, will God's spirit dwell inside of you. That's a huge thing. That's a big task to take on. God's spirit will dwell inside of you. So don't mock him by thinking you could say, once saved, always saved, we fly soon, we fly soon, and you could go out and still sin and do whatever you want. No. Someone, one of those false teachers told me that my son will still go to heaven. And this is my son I love. He has turned his back on the Lord and denied him his existence. This false teacher is telling me, well, was he saved once? He's still going to be saved. Once saved, always saved. That's not true. It says in the word, if you deny me in front of man, I will deny you in front of my father. My brothers and sisters, that's my child that I bore, that I love. But I love God the Father and his son Jesus Christ first. And I can only pray for my son and others that have this belief. Please, I love you all. God bless you all. Remember, hit like, hit subscribe. My PayPal's below. And God willing, this little Italian girl will be back. Ciao.